shout outs to Myra. That's my home girl. Uh, <laughs> she was having technical difficulties making her oatmeal. So. All right, so it's done. You know what I'm saying? Out of the microwave, what I do from here, take some stevia. I'll put some of this on there. And after that, stir it up. Stir it up. You know what you know what I'm saying? You get the perfect amount of mixed berries and water and all that stuff when it starts changing colors like this. It starts turning red. And to be honest with you, you can cook a little bit longer, but it's fine, you know what I'm saying? For me anyway. So that's what your oatmeal should look like, right? Berries, mixed berries in there. I suggest mixed berries. They're more of a variety. I suggest getting them frozen. You can keep them longer. Um, you can buy them in bulk. And I think they warm up perfectly in the microwave because they melt into the oatmeal and really give it a good flavor and a good taste. Um, so that's my personal opinion. But that's what I do. So, yo, Myra, I hope you can get a takeaway from this. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the many you know, how to's and how I cook my food. So stay tuned for that in the future. So I hope I help you out a little bit. But anyway, get ready from work. I'll probably go out, go off to work and I'll see y'all after work. Peace. All right, so I'm off work now and I wanted to show y'all what I, well, actually what Molly brought me, Subway. And I am fitting this into my macros and I'm gonna show you how. So my phone right here, focus. The diary. So let's see, I have it on dinner. So this is exactly what I got. As you can see. And I'm still under everything. So that's gonna allow me to be able to eat um, some carbs and some protein before I go to the gym. And then when I get back from the gym, I'm probably just gonna have a shake. So I've pretty much been hardly eating any carbs today, so I had a lot left over. So you can fit this into your, you know what I'm saying, your macros or whatever and still stay on track. It's the perk of flexible dieting, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and eat this, and then we got some errands to run, and then we're gonna, I'm going to go to the gym later on. So I'll see y'all next clip. All right, so I just want to show y'all this real quick. This is what I drank. I drank like probably like one of these a day. Um, and I'll show you nutrition facts on it. So it's two carbs, two grams of um, sugar per 17 ounces. And it tastes just like you're drinking, like what is this, black raspberry? Like you're drinking like, I don't know, like a cherry Coke or something. Tastes really good. You can get, um, you can get these at Walmart. So it's pretty good. And you know, you, I usually have maybe one or two a day, so. You can still drink this and obviously be on track because like the freaking macros are almost nothing. So, I just wanted to show y'all that. So, you guys see on this clip. What's up, y'all? Back in the building with Lake Day today, kicking it off. Um, I hope you guys are following the program that I sent everybody. So, I'm following it. So, you should be following it too. So, basically what we're doing, we're doing 15 reps, full reps, and then 15 partials. So, I'm doing the full reps right now. About to go into the partials after 15, and you'll see what I mean. Right there, partial reps. That's actually helping the teardrop and um, the part of your quad by your knee. It's helping that area right there by doing it. And this shit's gonna burn like hell, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, so, Andrew, if you're watching this, your face will be scrunched up. You will have anguish in your face and you won't look as pretty. I'm sorry, but it is what it is, but you're gonna get the job done nevertheless. So, I did three sets of this and it pumped my legs full of blood to get my knees ready to squat. And that's the purpose of this movement and having it at the beginning. Um, so you can see, and I really want you guys to pay attention to the form and squeezing the muscle, concentrating, mind-muscle connection. It's very important, especially stimulating legs. So the goal is to put as much blood in the muscle as possible. So from here, um, I went to squats, as you see. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to my form on this. So, I think I did 15 to 20 reps. So, as you notice, I'm not going all the way up. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm keeping constant tension on my quadriceps. Uh, 
by doing that, I'm not giving them any rest, except for right there, of course. But uh, that is really extremely hard because your quads are getting constant tension and it's going to put a lot of blood into your legs and it's going to give you a pump, right? And that's what we're working towards is getting a pump. So real quick, cheat meals. Okay, you want to have cheat meals on, you know, back or leg day because you expend the most calories. The reason why you have cheat meals is because your body will become stagnant. It's built to adapt. It does not want to get lean. So what does it do? It slows down your metabolism. So that's the reason why you have a cheat meal to trick your body and think that it's getting fats again and then it will raise your metabolism back up again because your body's built to adapt, right? So it thinks, like it's, it thinks that it's going to be starved, so it slows your metabolism down to hang on to any fat. Okay, so now I'm on the sled. I'm going to do 20 reps at the low end of the sled right here. You see where my feet are at? So I'm doing 20 here. And I'm going to do 20 in the middle of the sled. And I'm going to do 20 at the top of the sled. At the bottom where I'm at right now, I'm working quads. Right here, I'm working quads and hams, right? When I do it at the very top, I'm working hams and glutes. So it's an all-in-one exercise, 60 reps. So don't worry about doing a lot of weight on this. Just worry about making it through it because this shit is going to hurt. I'm telling you this right now. I'm telling you this is gonna hurt. Um, but it's very, 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 very effective. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Like at this point, I, I felt like I was gonna throw up at any second. I mean, I've thrown up many times in the gym before on leg day, and guess what? Went to the, went to the garbage can, threw up, got back under the weight, and then kept going. Because I'm a bodybuilder, this is what we do, right? There's nothing pretty about it, we ain't here to work. So, anyway. So let me get off my high, my high horse real quick. But, uh, so I did three sets of this. I honestly didn't think I was gonna be able to make it past the second one, but I pushed through anyway. Um, like I said, this is no joke right here. So, you know, doing a 20, 20, 20, that's one set. You're going to repeat that three times. And your legs should feel like they're going to fall off by this point. That's okay. That's to be expected. So, again, you want to make sure that you're concentrating on what muscle group that you're working when you're working them. You know what I'm saying? It's very important that you do that. <laughs> so, you can see now. <laughs> I'm starting to feel it, man. Like, it's just starting to catch up with me. But you got to press through it. Man, it's a lot of freaking reps. But anyways, back to cheat meals. Um, so, I would start off doing one a week. Do it at the end of the day because you can get your nutrients in. When you eat a cheat meal, it has so much fat and carbs in it that, you know, you won't eat for a few hours. So, that's the reason why I eat my cheat meal and in the evening. So, I can go ahead and get my good nutrition in. I can get all the calories I need throughout the day. I can get more meals in and then I have my cheat meal like, you know, in the evening. So I would do it, for you guys, I would do it on a Saturday. I would go ahead and weigh in on an empty stomach, weigh in and then track your weight. And then once you weigh in on an empty stomach, then you can have your cheat meal after that or in that evening. So I would do Saturdays for right now. Um, and, then you di and then you diagnose. So if you're losing 1.5 to 2.5 pounds a week, keep that in there. If you're losing more than that, then you might need two cheat meals. Me, my metabolism is so freaking quick that even when I was competing for a bodybuilding show, I had to keep cheat meals in for, you know, um, two days a week all the way up until the show. But your metabolism is going to be different in us. This way, so right here what I'm doing, I did 10 reps. I came up and I squeezed for the count of two. After those 10, I did 10 quick reps in the pocket. That's what you just saw. And I'm kind of going through a little bit of posing right here. Is what I'm doing. So my quads came a long way over the years. Came a long way, man. Those some of my classic physique poses I'm going through right there. So my wife's kind of miring right now. She's miring the gains. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so I mean, you guys are you guys will be there soon enough for this. Years and tears, boy, I tell you. So I'm back at it again. I did three sets of this. I'm trying to get myself psyched up a little bit. So you notice I'm coming up. Squeeze. Right? Coming up. Squeeze. I do 10 of these. Squeezing like this. Squeeze. And then after those 10, I do 10 of them in the pocket. Um, quick, consecutively. And I'm telling you right now, this is going to be your breaking point. 
is this gonna separate, you know what I'm saying, the ones who are, you know what I'm saying, for real about this, or the ones who are just talking about it and not being about it. But if you want your legs to grow, this is what it's gonna take. So I, I mean, right here, I mean, you'll see in a minute. But I'm gonna wrap this commentary up. Hope you guys enjoy the leg day. Now go and get yours. Peace. You gonna make it? You gonna make it, Paul? <laughs> Done with the workout. My legs are stupid pumped. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. They are stupid freaking pumped. Oh my god, I ain't felt that way in a long time. But uh we on our way home now. God, I didn't think that shit was gonna end, man. I ain't felt like that in a long time. But uh it's good though, man. I needed it. So heading home. Maybe throw up. I don't know. Haven't figured it out yet. But uh I'll see y'all when we get there, man. Back home and I apologize for you know the clickbait, the title. I cheated, but whatever, it's clickbait and you know, it's all I'm saying about that. But listen, this is cheat meal part. It's not even really a cheat meal though. Halo Top ice cream. You can eat this, you know, while you're dieting. The macros are amazing. Can you see it? Bright in the way. Focus. There we go. So you can peep those macros. That's for a half a cup. Yeah, for a whole pint. It would be what? So it says it on the front. Does it? What well, says calories? For the whole for a whole pint, you're looking at 28 grams of carbs total for this whole thing. Um, let's see, 10 grams of protein. Yeah. All right. So really quick. Sorry for the clickbait, but anyway, cheat meal part two. It's not even a cheat meal though. Halo Top ice cream. You can eat this and stay on track. The macros are really good for this whole thing. Show them. For this whole thing, you're looking at 28 carbs, you're looking at 10 grams of protein, oh, yes. and you're looking at uh, 4 grams of fat for this whole entire container you can eat, right? And also this, like if you drink a lot of soda and stuff and you're craving that, um, you can drink this uh, spark, sparkling water. It comes flavor, it tastes like drinking the Coke or something, and it literally only has 2 grams of um, carbohydrates per 17 ounces. Zero fat, only 10 grams of so 10 milligrams of sodium, and that's it. So you, I mean, this stuff you can get away with on your prep. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, you saw me eat the subway earlier. I fed it into my macros. You just gotta be smart about it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, oh, shout outs to Andrea. I'm posting the the picture of her squatting, looking like she's at a photo shoot and stuff like that, smiling on and everything like that. You just saw, you know what I'm saying? The anguish in my face on my leg day. Oh, our leg day because it's written in the program. So if you're doing the program that I wrote right, you should have anguish in your face. You know what I'm saying? It's shit's hard. It ain't no joke. But anyway, so um, again, if y'all have any questions, comment below. Like this video, man. Please like this video. Show your boys some support. If y'all local, holler at me. Like, we'll get a workout in. It'll be cool, man. All my local competitors, local followers, whatever, come. You know what I'm saying? Come get a workout with me. But until next time, MCS out.